Hi, it's Chris here from the EQ Mod Project. Uh, another video on uh, pack prep. This time we're going to look at the periodic error correction curve tab. See, I've already got my data um, loaded. Some filters applied. If we click on the periodic error correction tab, uh, what we see is this. Now, what we have is all of our uh, uh, curves stacked on top of each other for each each of our cycles, and this is um, what PEC prep would prepare as being a periodic error correction. By adjusting these weightings, you can uh, adjust the amount of influence an individual cycle has on the final curve. So, if I were to take out cycle one, we should be able to see it it changes. Um, or you can disable certain cycles. If, if if something went wrong during one of the cycles, you nudge the scope or something, and it's it's just totally untypical, you just disable it. So if you say, I, I don't want that one as part of my curve, you can remove it. Uh, and if you were do making a periodic error correction curve, you fiddle about this till you're happy with it, and then you um, simply uh, click up here and say, Save Ecomod PEC file. Um, but uh, this tab also has uses if you're just looking um, to analyze your periodic error because it, it shows you the level of performance that you might expect to see if you had PEC running. Uh, as you can see with this mount, um, by the look of it, PEC would reduce the periodic error to about 19, 20 uh, arc seconds peak to peak, which is about half what it um, it was originally. Uh, so you can see that periodic error correction on this man, it's going to have an effect, but it's not perhaps as dramatic as you might hope, and that's due to the uh, mechanical nature uh, of the error that's present on this particular mount. As with the period periodic error analysis tab, there are some statistics that, that, that give you all the um, peak errors, the RMS errors, and the rate at which things are changing. Uh, and as with the the other um, graphs, you can right click, save them as bitmaps, or add add your own labels if you want to annotate them. Uh, and the sliders act to zoom, zoom in, zoom out. Okay, uh, that'll do for this tab.